collecting and displaying reviews on your website of your product or service is the single thing that you could do to increase conversions of whatever you're selling, increase the foot traffic in your local business. It is crucial. It's a huge trust builder. It's what other people are saying about you and your business versus what you are saying about your business and in this video i'm going to show you the ways that you can add these business reviews from third-party websites to your website now it's most important to have the reviews from these third-party websites it's i always when i just see someone uh, post a review of something on their website and it wasn't actually from a third-party website like Google uh, Google Local or Yelp or someplace like that or maybe even Facebook reviews. I'm always a little suspect. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to feed those into your website. Hi, my name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make WordPress tutorial videos for non-techies. If you're new here, consider clicking on that subscribe button. Click on that notification bell and YouTube will let you know when I upload new videos. All right, let's quickly take a look here. So the first thing I did is I went to wordpress.org and did a little searching. And what I found was all of the various plugins that have a feed to pull in these reviews, all the free ones, they're more just trial wear and they don't really get you where you want to go. It might just display some tiny little thing in the sidebar and then try to prompt you to pay for an upgrade. And I really didn't find any that were super reputable from reputable developers and so i think if you wanted to start your search there it might be a little bit of a waste of time uh, you'll be trying lots of things out so i'll leave that up to you of course this one right here uh wp business reviews we're going to actually take a look at the pro version of that this is more trial wear of anything if anything right here and that's probably why there's a four out of five stars here so that was the first place i looked and i didn't like what i found the next thing that we're going to look at is using your page builder. So if you're using Elementor or Beaver Builder or Divi or any of them, you can kind of piecemeal it up together and just do lots of copying and pasting. Um, but it's not really ideal, but you can certainly do that. Now, Elementor specifically has a perf in their professional version. And I'll have links to everything down below to make it easy for you to find these uh, different products that you might want to look at. Now, Elementor Pro has a widget for this uh, for business reviews, but you're still doing that copy and paste, but it's actually quite good. We're going to take just a quick brief look at that. Now, the next granddaddy of them all for business reviews is WP Business Reviews right here. And so this will allow you to create a feed from these various review websites, Yelp, Google Places, they support uh, yellow pages. Uh, let's see here, there's a whole bunch that they support. And then you can display them in this grid, Facebook. Sorry, I forgot that one, that's important. And what is this one, Zomato, uh, probably for restaurants. So, and it allows you to display it in this grid with a short code. And you can also manually add reviews. This is kind of the granddaddy. Uh, let's take a look at the cost just so you know what's going on with the cost. So for a single site license, you're looking at 100 bucks a year. Now, there's something interesting, though, uh, is this right here. If you're using Ultimate add-ons for Elementor or if you're using Ultimate add-ons for Beaver Builder, they're going to release this tomorrow. So... A lot of people on this channel already have one of these, so this might be your best bet. They just added a feature that will allow you to feed in these reviews, and they talk about it right here. We're going to take a look at this as well, where you can feed in Yelp reviews and Google reviews, and it will dynamically show on your website. So this is actually really good. So what I like about this is it's a lot more affordable. It's only $59 or $69. Actually, I better look at the pricing. I forget. Oh, it's actually only $49. So I, I'm wrong. I thought it was $59. So it's $49. And it comes with a lot of additional functionality if you're already using one of these page builders, Elementor or Beaver Builder. And this is just now added in there. And if you are, say, making websites for clients, what's good is this, you can use this on unlimited websites. I could see part of your proposal if it's a local business is, hey, for an extra $200 or so, we'll add this dynamic feed of reviews coming in from Yelp or from Google. I think that it would be an easy yes from any business. 
So essentially the way this works is similar to WP Business Reviews where we have to make this API connection with Yelp and with Google. Now the only uh, difference between, the big difference between this and using WP Business Reviews is WP Business Reviews obviously has a couple additional integrations, Facebook reviews. Now they said ultimate add-ons for Elementor. I asked them about this because I wanted the Facebook reviews. They said they'll probably build that in, but right now you have Yelp and you have Google. Now, when you are dynamically pulling in reviews and I'm going to show you how this works. Now, when you're dynamically pulling in these reviews, what ends up happening is you're using what's called an API connection with Google and Yelp. So you just set that up. It's actually quite easy. I'm going to show you how to do it with Yelp, but those APIs have restrictions. So with Google's, you can only pull in eight reviews with Yelp. It's only three rev reviews and there's nothing you could do to get around that. Um, unless you wanted to use the Elementor pro way or just a normal page builder way where you're just manually copying and pasting. And that actually is fine. I would only suggest adding a link to the original review to build that credibility. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So here I have Elementor pulled up and right here is that Elementor business reviews right here. So uh, if I click right here, it's just a an element in Elementor. So if I scroll down all the way down here to their pro elements right here. Okay, here it is reviews. So you just drag and drop it. I added three columns. Now let's take a look inside of, of how it's going to look. So by default, it re, it displays these as a slider. So I actually uh, duplicated it into three columns accidentally. Uh, so uh, here's what would be for each review. You would just click on it right here. You would add an image, add a name of the reviewer, a title and a rating. So you're doing a lot of this manual copying and pasting, which is fine. If this is all that you have and this is all that you want, there's a lot of manual copying and pasting. But then right here, you would go ahead and put the link that would take the visitor on your website so they could actually see that review on the review website. And then here is the actual review. And then we have some options here for this sliding. I just uh, added it three into three different times into these columns. Now here is the difference. This is the ultimate add-ons for Elementor business review. Let me show you how that works. So if you have ultimate add-ons for Elementor, there's this, you just activate it obviously. And then there's a setting right here under settings. It says UAE. Then what you go here is you're going to see a list of all the widgets it adds. This is good for you to deactivate widgets you're not going to need or use. Uh, but when you scroll all the way down, there's this one right here. It says business reviews. And then there's a link here to settings. So when I click on settings, this is going to be all your API keys that the plugin might need for some of its features, such as Google Maps. And down here is where you can put your Google Places API key and your Yelp API key. Now, here's a link to an article for the Google one. And here's a link to the Yelp one. You can see I've already added a Yelp one. So here's what the article will tell you. Google Places. This is one I followed for Yelp. It was actually quite easy. If you're logged into your Yelp account, you click on this link right here. And what that did is it took me to this page right here. And then I had to click right here on step one, go to create app. And when you click on that, it takes you right here. And all you have to do is give the app a name. You could just call it website. Uh, you don't have to put a website address, choose your industry. You don't need to put a company. You do need to put a contact email. And then for description, I just put display reviews on my website. And then when you submit this, you're immediately going to be given this API key that you copy and paste right in there and then click on save changes. Super easy. Now the next thing you're going to need when you want to display the reviews is pretty simple. So let me click on it right here. And so right here you need a Yelp business, the ID of a business. Now what's interesting, if you have Elementor Pro, this could be dynamically populated. When I looked at that, I thought this is quite interesting. So if you have multiple business locations and you want to show reviews, based on location, well, 
that's actually not the idea I was thinking. I was thinking more for like a business listing websites. So you can have a custom field that has this Yelp business ID and it will dynamically populate. Okay, uh, side distraction there. Okay, so I found this business right here that I just so happened to be going to eat lunch at in three hours. Uh, gonna go on a little bit of a road trip and I'll be having some lunch here. And so here's where you get that ID. You see the, here's the, the URL to this post, you would take the last bit right there. So that's the name of the business and all that kind of stuff. Copy, paste that in to this right here and it, bam, just pulled in these reviews. Now what's interesting is these will dynamically update and change as people are leaving reviews and we get a ton of options. So um, on their announcement post of the feature, they talk about filtering, styling, and all that kind of stuff. You have all these options to do it. So, and this is an advantage of using this over WP Business Reviews is you actually get more design control over it. So let's take a look at some of these options right now. So when you first go in, there's multiple skins. This is default. This right here is the card skin. I actually like that. And then here is the bubble skin that's pretty good too so then right here you choose your review source so you can show just yelp just google or a mixture of both so if you had them both connected and you want to show it's essentially eight reviews total you get five with google and you get three with yelp you can make that choice right there and then uh right here is some options to set how often the plugin's going to go and fetch the newest reviews and so by default it's set to every day that's probably all that you need then we have layout control options right here a grid or a carousel uh, we have just column options here equal height i actually prefer equal height there we go i like uniformity uh, now this green is being pulled from elementor so whatever you have your colors set to an elementor that will dynamically pull in Okay, here's the important thing, filters. So you can filter by ratings right here or dates. And so if you wanted to make sure that you show a minimum of four stars and up, but just keep in mind when you do that, you only get to display what Yelp gives you to display. And that's one of the negatives of using an API connection like this. So if you have Google and Yelp, you'll have plenty of reviews that you can display. All right, so let's go back to no minimum. You definitely want a minimum. You don't want someone leaving a bad review and then Yelp pushing it in the feed. That would not be good. Uh, so there it is. Uh, okay, uh, reviewer info. So then you just have all the control over date. I can already see the dates not showing. I would probably want the date there. So these look current. So I'd go like that. And I'm also seeing that the way the date is displaying is actually probably not ideal for the US. So if you wanted to show the date, I'm going to message the developer and uh, ask them to give you the option of showing different date formats. Uh, it looks like this should probably be an option here, but I'm not seeing it uh, offhand. So uh, you definitely would want the date format to be the one that you want for your country. So for in the United States, we show month, day, year, and this is showing day, month, year. Uh, but you don't have to show the review date and I'll message them and uh, make that suggestion over to them. So you just have control after control after control. And then you also have styling for spacing and padding. So you can see this is a pretty compelling option. Now that last option, if you're just using the free version of Elementor, uh, you can create a column to just kind of try to replicate this. Um, it's not that hard because we have the different positioning options now with Elementor and the free version where you can easily get an image with a name off to the side of it and then you can have uh, something like an uh, icon to a social network to be on the far right. That's actually very easy to accomplish now with Elementor because of some of the layout and positioning options that they offer. So, and that is the best options out there for adding reviews to your website. I personally prefer the feed route using the filters and when they add Facebook, I'm going to be very happy because I would love to show the Facebook reviews that I've received on my website in various locations. This just seems like a really easy and automated way for it to happen. Just a few mouse clicks and then there are those reviews. So 
Anyways, uh, I'll have links to everything down below. Uh, if there are any affiliate programs or referral programs, I will join it and that will be a referral link, uh, but it doesn't cost you anything additional. And it just goes to support what I'm able to do here for making these videos for you. So if you have any questions about any of these or if you've come up with better ways to do this, feel free to mention those down in the comment section below. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Consider giving it a thumbs up right now. Remember, subscribe, click on that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.